Hi Aries, welcome to your singles reading for January. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aries, this is this is attended for singles. So, I mean, you could be separated for some, from somebody or totally single, or maybe you think you sort of have a connection with somebody. But I also do a love connection reading also on the channel if you're new. So you could also watch that and maybe that will resonate for you also but this is intended for singles so it could be totally somebody new coming in that you don't even know so we'll see what happens here so welcome in everyone hope everybody's doing well hope you had a nice christmas happy new year so this is a zodiac oracle eerie so the first thing i'm going to do is get a couple signs see what we get here we could get sign element planet and take the energies as they come see what's going on with a possible new person or a person returning or whatever here just gonna take whatever we get so let's get a couple signs for Aries I'm gonna say at this time Aries because I do consider all my readings timeless so it is labeled for January but this is intended for whenever you see this tell whenever so if you'd like to go back and watch um, previous readings for Aries your playlists are listed below please feel free to go back and watch those if you like to okay and a lot of stuff down there in the description box, so feel free to check it out. Decks I'm using, social media, um, how to reach out for personal reading, tons of stuff. So please feel free to check that out. So we have Leo, fellow fire sign, and we have Mercury, which is Gemini. So we have Leo and Gemini as the main signs coming out here. But we could get more signs during the reading. And Mercury is all about the mind, ideas, communication, um, and that sort of energy. So being honest, it's all with the mind and communication with the Mercury energy there. So first thing I'm going to do here, um, Aries, let's get an energy. I'm going to pull an energy. So it could be your energy. It could be this other person energy. It could be a mutual energy between the two of you in the future. It could be mutual energy now, whatever comes out here. So let's get an opening energy here for Aries. And Aries, if you have seen my past single reading, uh, I'm doing the format different. I kind of have a new spread. So you can let me know in the comments below if you prefer this style or the other style I was doing. If you're not familiar with my other style, you can check the description box below for your uh, love playlist. Find the singles reading for December and tell me which style you like better. So, or I can alternate and do this style, the other style, whatever here. All right, so let's get an opening energy, opening energy for Aries at this time, for singles, please. All right, what do we have here? We have harmony, power, self-confidence, productivity, and we have three. And three is all about working together, teamwork, collaboration, working on things together as a team. Hmm, okay. So let's see. So this future energy could be somebody that is willing to put in the work, the effort in building something here. All right, I think I'm going to take these two. So what I'm going to do, Aries, I'm going to put energy on each side. And if you feel like you resonate with a certain side, pick a side and the other side is either your other person. If you don't resonate with the other energy, like I don't connect with that, I don't know anyone. Uh, if you are connected with someone and you don't feel that's their energy, this could be somebody totally new coming uh, into you or may not be for you at all. So please keep that in mind. So on this side over here, we have 20, loss, grief, sadness, resurrection. Hmm. And two is about unity. 20 equals two, which is about unity. And on this side over here, we have eternal dance, movement, wheel of life, path of least resistance. 19 is 10 and 10 is about an ending, but then there's always a new beginning. Okay, so this this could be somebody you know it could be like an ex and you know maybe you thought this is someone that you were going to be with the rest of your life and maybe something happened here because you do there is loss on this side whether it's you or them i don't know if it's not an ex then um this other person or you could have just experienced a loss of some kind um but this internal dance on this side here, this person here uh, is, I feel like a go-getter kind of energy. Like they go after what they want, want to drive ambition, ambition and balance, uh, things going in the right direction for them, always taking positive movement forward. They don't resist. They just go with the flow. 
It's like they just like know what steps to do, what which way to go, you know, and they just keep like progressing on. Like if there's an ending, nine and one ten is an ending, one is a new beginning. If there's an ending, they're not afraid to start something new. Is what I'm kind of getting. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. What to pull tarot around all this energy, bring it all in together. So now we have winter's end, regeneration, rebirth, positive outcome. Sixteen is seven. Seven is a very divinely guided number, spiritual number. But seven can also be about like the seven of swords, like deceit, uh, sneaky kind of energy. Um, but the seven of cups can be like confusion. Seven can be um, like that defensive kind of energy. And it also could be uh, an energy of patiently waiting, like investing and then assessing and then waiting. So I don't know, we'll see here, kind of energy. So it could be something that was invested in. Um, and it could have came, could have came to end in the past, like during the winter time, or something could be happening this winter, something coming to an end. So there can be a new beginning. All right. So let's see what's going on here for you. Aries, 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 Aries. I just want to say thank you to everybody who supported the channel, whether you've tipped, donated, reached out for personal reading, uh, sent a gift, um, anything just subscribed new people thank you so much i couldn't do it without you guys helping in the channel's growth being a part of that it's truly truly appreciated so thank you thank you thank you whoa okay i just want to make sure my deck's not upside down so we have the page of pentacles on this side that's uh, solid solid news coming in eight of pentacles again uh is about working working on something here all right, so let's get one more, one more for that side, for that energy. Now we have the King of Wands. So that's your energy, uh, Leo Sagittarius. This could be your side. I feel like if you've lost something, um, and maybe it doesn't have to do with a relationship, maybe you just lost something in general, lost somebody in your life, lost a job, um, or something like that. You had some kind of loss that you had to deal with. Could be coming to an end on uh, winter time. If you're waiting on a job. This is that page of pentacles energy. That's about, you know, career finance material kind of things. That could be that good news coming in. Eight of work. Eight of pentacles is working. So it's like going back. You get this news. You got the job. And now you're feeling in this king of wands energy. I mean, you could be a boss. You could be a supervisor. You could be something like that. And now you're working on rebuilding your life here. And it may come through the winter's end here. So, you know... Now, uh, we are just went through the winter solstice, I believe. Um, was it Sunday? So winter's end is until what, March? So I feel by March, you you will be this king of wands. It's like now you're working, you're feeling good. You, the good news came in, you got that job. If some of you have lost a job and you're starting that new job, hmm, feeling, you know, har harmony. Uh, self-confident productivity you're feeling productive again that three you know is about teamwork collaboration working with others so that could just be you know that energy so of that person there i feel like that could be you because we do have the king of wands coming out here um okay and that king of wands a very fiery passionate go-getter kind of energy they could be a boss they could be um an entrepreneur or something like that so let's see on this side here we have eternal dance and we have the chariot so and i had said that this person um not afraid to start over something doesn't work for them comes to an end they're not afraid to start over at all they're not afraid to um jump on that wheel of fortune wheel of life i get the wheel of fortune energy it's like they know how to get the wheel turning something doesn't work and they just try something else they're constantly uh positive movement forward with this person over here and then we have the nine of wands like they don't give up <laughs> they've been through the battles they've been through the fight you know they've done many things maybe that does you know didn't work in their life but they don't give up they keep fighting on with that nine of wands energy okay so let's see oh six of swords in reverse hmm so I mean, the Six of Swords is always about going to a better place of peace, harmony. I feel like Six of Swords, you're like on your way to peace, harmony, balance, to a better place and leaving the BS behind. I feel like with the Six of Swords, 
in reverse, it's like you're already there. Like this person's already found their peace, their happiness, their balance. They've already made that movement forward. I feel like they're in a really good place right now. It's like they reached their destination on that chariot there. Very uh, successful, balanced, uh, go-getter kind of energy. They don't give up. They keep going on and on and on here. So I, I feel like very um, entrepreneurship kind of energy here. So they could run their own business. They could um, just be very successful in whatever they do or something like that. So let's get a couple more here. So now we have the high priestess kind of energy on this side. So again, listening to um, gut intuition, um, but keeps to themselves, the high priestess energy. So you may be somebody that, you know, is moving, spends a lot of time just focused on their career. Maybe, you know, you're single, you're not with anyone, you keep to yourself with the high priestess energy, you know, and, um, you know, you don't really get out there and mingle much. You just, you know, maybe it's because... If it's not work you lost, if it was a relationship you lost before, um, I feel like maybe you just, you know, you're like, you know, I just keep to myself. I get this and I just keep to myself. You know, I work, I do whatever, work, and that's it. I don't mingle, I don't go out. <laughs> that's what I'm getting. <laughs> well, maybe you do go out. Okay, on this side over here now we have justice. So... Yeah, this, I feel like this, this person could work in the justice system uh, in some way, shape, or form. <clears throat> or, um, again, someone who, um, with that justice card, is about truth, clarity, balance. You know, getting justice, serving justice. I feel like this is a person who sees with truth and clarity... Whatever they do that didn't work and they start something new, it like rectifies their situation and they have justice balanced back in their life in a way. Hmm. Okay. So let's see how these energies will come together. Come together. I'm not sensing that you know this person. I mean, you could, but I'm not really getting that feeling that you know them really for some of you. All right, but you could. I mean, there's always that chance. So we have the three of pentacles. So you may meet this person at work. It could have been like this past fall. Three of pentacles is, again, that three uh, over here of you no know, teamwork, collaboration, working together. So maybe maybe this person was just hired on in the fall time where you're working or something like that. And, uh, I mean, you both could work in the law, law field of some kind. Um, or something like that. Maybe you met at work. If that makes sense for some of you. All right. You know, maybe you met in the fall, but it's just kind of like platonic right now. Maybe I feel like the high priestess here, you're not really seeing because high priestess, this is her, they've got their intuition, higher knowing, very intuitive. They know all the secrets, but they keep to themselves. So <clears throat> it's almost like the same energy here with the justice and the high priestess. So I feel like maybe this person keeps to themselves also. I feel like they're like very uh, concentrated on their work and moving ahead. So let's see. Yeah, the king of pentacles. Yeah, so it's on your side. You've got the king of wands and the king of pentacles. So you definitely here could be, uh, you could be in finances, uh, work in finances or something like that. Are just good with finances in general, someone who's very practical, smart, um, analytical kind of energy. All right, let's get uh, a couple more here. So now we have the Queen of Cups energy. And then we have the Two of Wands. So I feel like here... I feel like this side is always making plans about their future, like always thinking of new things, always looking out into the future, you know, new creative ideas, trying, you know, always trying something new, um, always like making plans for some reason. And, but we got the queen of cups right in the middle, which is uh, water energy and that, you know, and that is, uh, that is, you know, love, emotions and feelings. King of Pentacles energy here. 
I think by summertime, by two, uh, two, uh, two ones is fall, uh, spring, sorry, spring. So we got spring, summer, and fall that you could have just started working with them this past fall. I'm, I'm feeling maybe you kind of know them or seen them maybe around work. You could like work in the same facility or around the same area or something like that. And I'm feeling like maybe this fall, because fall, the next fall would be a long time. So, I mean, it could be, but I'm, I'm getting maybe you just like started to see them or come around them or know them or work with them or something this past fall. So we have the King of Pentacles over here too, which is fall. But we have spring over here with the wands and then we have summer. So let's get a couple more before we uh, go further into this to try to figure this out. Wow. So... All right, I guess these two are meant to stay on the table. So now we have temperance balancing out the energies here. And this temperance angel always brings the soulmates together. So I think if you waited on a job and you got it, could have been this past fall also. Maybe this is a new job you started in the fall. And that's how you ran into this person. You or them, I feel this past fall, but this does say uh, by winter's end. So it could have been that you just, you know, applied for this job during the fall time. And then all of a sudden by winter's end, maybe you didn't think you were going to get it. And then all of a sudden, boom, you got it. And then we have the eight of swords. So that's mental blockage trapped. This person, I feel like, um, needs to be balancing of energies here. Somebody is trapped, stuck in their head about this. Um... For some reason, I feel like with the Queen of Cups there, there is love emotions may not be like love yet, but there is like you see the arms reached out there towards both sides. So I feel like like there is some sort of connection there. Maybe you both kind of like intuitively feel. But it's like you're not really like looking at each other. It's like you kind of feel it, but mm, I don't know. But there needs to be balancing of energies here. Like this is the angel that brings the soulmates together. So this could be soulmate energy. But there's people here trapped in their head, their mind, um, like they want something new, but then they don't. Could be the two of you independently, both have that energy and you both need to balance out your energies because this angel is trying to bring two soulmates together. So let's see what the outcome. Well, no, I don't feel comfortable taking that. So, oh, okay possible outcome here for Aries in this connection. I feel feeling something around your work, work connection or something like that. Seven of Pentacles. So waiting, just waiting, waiting, waiting. No one's taking any action. So I feel like there could be a possibility here of some sort of connection, but I feel the Seven of Pentacles again with that work energy, career energy that that's like, well, should I reach out? Should I connect? Should I? It's like weighing the pros and cons, assessing, evaluating. Should I invest? Should I not invest? Um, and just kind of waiting. So I just see waiting here. So I do see a possible connection, but nobody taking action because people are stuck and people um, need to balance out their energies instead of just like waiting and looking and not making any moves. Uh, you know, this may not go anywhere, but nobody makes the first move. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Magician. So this is manifesting, you know, a brand new beginning. King of Swords. So that's truth, clarity. Um, King of Swords, King, Queen, Ace of Swords always reminds me of divine energy. Like divine trying to shed light on this, as you see, you know, the light here. So I think divine is trying, to, energy is trying to manifest this forward for the two of you. And a very spiritual connection here with the Hierophant. This could be a very committed relationship, very spiritual relationship. And here's like divine spiritual energy trying to manifest this forward. But there's a heavy burdens here. Somebody has burdens that they need to lay down first, whether it's you or them or the two of you, you know, separately. So this can move forward in love and some sort of love connection or connection here. Because it could lead to Ten of Pentacles, marriage, commitment, long-term person here. Happiness, joy, success, victory. And there's that Leo energy with the sun. Happy home and family. Everything, everything positive with the sun. Could be possible long-term partner here. 
moving forward in love, but somebody has to lay down burdens first with the Ten of Wands because divine spiritual energy here is trying to bring this together, is trying to shed truth and clarity on this and trying to get this to manifest forward. But everybody has free will, so this may not go anywhere if nobody takes action. People just look and like look and don't do anything. So Aries, I don't know. It's up to somebody here to make the first move if they feel a connection here. Maybe people aren't sure. I don't know, but I just see like stalemate. <laughs> stalemate. That's all I see is stalemate. But I think Divine Source here is trying to really push this forward and get people out of this stale energy that they've been in. Okay. So, Aries, I'm going to pull some closing messages with this deck. And I do ask if you like how I read to please uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. And you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do right now. I do four readings a month. I do a love connection. I do a singles. I do a general. I do um, spirit or angel messages. What you need to hear at this time. And I also started a weekly um, element energy reading. Love, 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 life, and advice. I'm thinking about uh, eliminating quite a few and just doing love readings, uh, singles, and connection bi-weekly. So I'm not sure yet, looking at what gets the most views, what people would really like to see. So again, if you've seen my past um, singles reading and you like the other style uh, better, let me know in the comments. Or if you like this better or whatever, you know, I could do both. So we have here six, two is eight, honesty. And eight is about movement, travel, action. So people need to be honest here. Yeah, honesty. Maybe you're working together and you feel a connection or you know them somehow around work and people aren't really like really being honest or confess, confessing how they truly feel. So that's why we have the stalemate, like nothing is going anywhere because people are just like not taking action. They're just assessing and looking and not doing anything. <laughs> Understanding here, which is seven. It's seven, again, with spiritually divinely guided energy um and seven is also about uh you know having a wall up having a guard up uh confusion um let's see what else here um is that sneaking away kind of energy um not being honest deceit not deceitful but maybe just not being like honest could be self-deceit and seven of pentacles like here of just like not taking action, just waiting. So there has to be understanding here about who both how you feel, how they feel. This is somebody you already know, or somebody coming into you maybe in the, get in this energy. So it's needing to really understand how you truly feel, how you feel about each other, being honest about that. So this possible connection, or if it's someone you know, can move forward. Otherwise, it's just going to stay in a stalemate. So it's the energy I'm getting, uh, Aries. So good luck to you, Aries. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.